Hey guys, welcome to another Friday here at Aquarium Central and that means another live fish unboxing. Now, we do have a lot to go through today. We have just received over 20 boxes of fish. We are not unboxing all 20 boxes. We have condensed it down to five. If you're a fan of guppies, stay tuned into the end. We have a whole new series of guppies, including some guppies that we've never seen here before. And the best thing is we have males and females of a lot of those guppies. So keep chairman if you're into guppies, but otherwise, let's get into it with our Friday unboxing. And we'll start off with some goldfish. And this is just your everyday comet goldfish. But the special about this guy is actually it's your white comet. And these are a good size. They're a 9 to 12 centimeter white comet. And as you can see, the white comets, based on the food that they feed, they actually get like a nice, beautiful gold and yellow in the head and in the fins. Really nice in your pond. So if you're looking to brighten up your pond, Big flowing fins on these ones, as you can see inside the bag there. We do have a couple of good sized white comets just arrived. Moving on on the goldfish now, we do have some crackers, absolute rippers. Look at this guy, This look at this around, it's 15 centimeters plus inside. Look at that tail flowing on the video there. Beautiful butterfly rose tail. Uh, goldfish, really sensational gold, yellow, big white went on it. Really cool, if I can get it to turn around and have a look at the lips on it. It's actually displaying beautiful red lipstick. Did you see that come pop up on the camera there? Beautiful fish. So ready to pucker up that one with the lipstick display. Here's another cracker goldfish. Look at the size of it. Huge. I could just fit in the corner of the bag there. And this again is another one of those really big orandas. Big wens on them. Beautiful calico pattern. Really fat and healthy. And those beautiful big tails on the back of them. And another one, really nice red and white pattern, this one. Not much black on this one, but it does have black eyes. So it's red and white in, in, in its coloration with black eyes, which makes it really cool. Little bit of a black lipstick or black moustache on it. Beautiful fish. So if you are looking for those collector orandas, come on down to the store. We've just received three large 15 centimeter size orandas. Uh, we did have four, but as we're unboxing, someone's grabbed one out of the box and it was an absolute stunner. I'm shamed I couldn't show you it because it was an absolute ripper. Put all those to shame. But check these out. Now, keep an eye on these on the website because we are going to do a sale. These were $149.99 each. These are your 9 to 12 centimeter tri-color orandas. We are going to put them on sale. They're going to be $99.99 each. Really good deal on these. Look at the markings on some of them. That one there with its really pink... Uh, sort of red mustache. That one there has got beautiful red eyebrows. They're tri-color because they're just displaying all three colors. That got that black, that red, and uh, that white, of course, in the body. Stunning fish. They're healthy, as you can see. We've got about 25 of these in today, and we'll get another 25 in on Monday because we are going to put them on sale. At under $100, you can't get better. Moving on to goldfish. One we get every week here, and this is your Calico Ranchu. So the Ranchu has no top fin, as you can see in the bag there. Short-bodied, sort of balloon-shaped uh, goldfish. Um, does need sort of a sinking food, this guy, but these are your Calico Ranchu. They're pretty cool fish. We have some cracking big guys of these in the store, so you can actually come down and see what they turn into when they get big. Now, this one's not for everyone. Uh, I, re I think they're really cool. They're like a stargazer. All right, this is your celestial eye goldfish. Now, see the eyes there? They're always looking up at the moon. So that's where they get that celestial name from, looking at the stars. Really cool goldfish. Really healthy. Good body shape on them. Really freaky to look at. Big black eyes staring up at you all the time. They're not as googly as your googly bubbly eyes, but they're pretty cool. So, you know, really good batch of these. If you want to come down, grab some. Maybe just bring the kids down even to have a look because there's something really cool to see. All right, now we do have a watch that's been waiting to see these. And I did say we we're going to get some new ones in on Friday and absolutely ripper ones as well. And these are your axolotls. Now check out the color on this gold. Beautiful big gold axolotl. So this guy's a ripper. So we've got a few golds in today. Big, fat, healthy fish. Bright yellow. Beautiful. Now the axolotls have disappeared there for a little while, but we've had a good supply here for a couple of months. Coming into summer now, though, they will start to drop off in supply. That was your gold. This is your white. All right, so the last one was gold. This is your white with your black eyes there, pink gills. Big, fat, healthy fish, as you can see, swimming around there in the bag. Really cool. Now, we do feed these new, new product on the market. 
uh, aqua gel makes an axolotl diet. You can cool thing about it is you can set the gel into worms and feed it to them. The axolotls uptake to it quite easily. So uh, another one here. This is your your black or your night fury from how you paint how you train your dragon. These days the kids are into Minecraft and they'll familiarise uh, the axolotl with Minecraft. But in my days it was about how you train your dragon. And you can look at this guy. You can see why. There he is. There night fury staring at you there through the bag. All right, so we've got a few axolotls in today, just because we've got a few in. We've got 20 in last week, and uh, we've got maybe 9 or 12 in today. They don't last long, so come on down, grab the best ones. Into our next box. All right, and we have the rams are starting to appear again. Now, these guys are your jumbo golds. Check them out. And actually, they're blues. They're not golds. They've got a really nice yellow shade on them though. Have a look at the colour on them. Beautiful. Lots of yellow in them. That's why I thought they were gold, but they're actually a blue. Big jumbo balloon blue rams. Really good quality ones that these have been coming through lately. Talking about good quality, and now these ones are the gold, but these are a little, they're not as big, but they're better. Alright. Look at the gold coloration in that. They are vibrant gold. And they're long fins, okay? Have you seen them this yellow before? Probably not. They are bright, intense yellow. Really, really ballooned if you look there closely on the camera. Really, really, really ballooned in shape. Really bright yellow and got long flowing fins. So that's your ballooned gold long fin ram. Now, if you're not into balloon and you just like rams, we did get in today, of course. These are the non-balloon blue rams. So these are like, a, um, they have been coming. We, be, we do carry German blue rams. We do have your, these are your regular blue rams. We do also have a few left of wild caught blue rams in the store. And occasionally we have some blacks, but no blacks around at the moment. But these are really cool blue, uh, blue rams. And looking in the bag there, I can see there's definitely some females in there. So if you're buying online, you can leave a note at the comment and just say, I would prefer a male and female. And we'll do our best to accommodate that for you, but we can't guarantee it. A lot of the time they come in, they're mainly males or they're mainly females. But if we do have a pair, we'll try and pick it for you, but we just don't guarantee it. Moving along, Rams. We have been getting some really good ones of these in, in your standard versions lately, but this is your ballooned version. And look at the size of them for balloon because these guys normally come in, they're like just over a centimetre, two centimetres in size. These are like four centimetres at least. These are your electric blue balloon rams. So we've got some really big balloon, uh, blue, electric blue rams in store at the moment. And now we have some really big electric blue balloon rams. So if you're into rams, there's a good variety of just come in today. Come on down. There's really good stuff coming into the country at the moment. Now, talking about cool things coming in. We did run out of these for a while. And unfortunately, the camera doesn't really show the quality of this. But this is actually a super a red, super red chili. Now, I know I can see the picture there on the camera myself. It is looking like a, an orange or just an albino Oscar on camera. But if we put this in our aquarium and we settle it and get it out of that white box, it actually goes an intense red. Beautiful fish. We'll try to get a video of this guy to show you. But that's your super red chili Oscar. Good seven centimeters, eight centimeters, seven to nine centimeters, I'd say. Now, angelfish, these are one of my favourites, and it wasn't long ago these were $150 each, and they have come down, they're around the, around the $50 mark each now, and these are your green Bulgarian seal point angels. Now, they're like a Siamese cat, they've got those black tips around on their finnage and that creamy light colour through the body. They call them green because as they get older, they do get a little bit of metallic green sheen on them. You can actually see a little bit of that in the bag if you look closely. Really nice, cool angel fish because I really, I really love that seal point, those black tips on them. And these are really good quality at the moment. So really worth coming and buying, grabbing some of those. Now, angel fish along that line. Now, we do get in quite regularly your uh, red devil angels. They're very, very popular at the moment. Now, we can buy them in two varieties. We can buy a German variety, which... They present when they come into the store with zero colour. They've got no colour. But if you're patient, you feed them well, you grow them up, eventually your German red devils will go red. Or we can get your traditional Asian bread, uh, German reds, which do, they are fed colour foods when they're young, and they come into store already coloured. Now have a look. And this is, this is an example of an Asian bread. Uh, these are your red devil angels. Really nice red coloration throughout the body. 
even though they're still quite juvenile, with the German reds, you won't have colour at this size, whereas these guys do. So we do have some really nice red devil angels just come in. If you do want them coloured straight away, these are the ones that attract to everybody's attention when they come in because they're coloured. However, if you want quality, stick with German. Now, a really cool fish, Australian bread fish, comes from Lake Malawi. We can't import this guy. Is This guy is your white lip Madoka. Okay, beautiful fish, one of the best looking Africans, one of the most sought after looking Africans, but does take a little bit of patience to mature. And you can see it there in the bag, both male and female actually get color on this guy, but the male's more striking. They call it the white lip Madoka because the, literally the fish goes metallic blue with white lips, like it's wearing white lipstick. Absolute stunner. We do have one of these in our front display tank. He's just starting to get really nice white lips now, and he's just starting to blubber up, uh, a little bit like bubble gump with the lip. So really cool fish. All right, moving along. And what we've got here is a little rainbow species. Now, uh, last time we put these up on social media, some people got confused with what these are. Uh, thinking they're Pacific Blue Eyes. They are not Pacific Blue Eyes. They do look very similar to Pacific Blue Eyes, but these are your Celebs Rainbows from Madagascar. So they are quite a small little rainbow. They do look very similar to Pacific Blue Eyes, but they're not a Pacific Blue Eye. They will eat frog ponds uh, eggs, so you don't put them in there uh, thinking they're Pacific Blue Eyes. So, But they're really cool fish. They look really cool in the aquarium. We've got flash of lights. The lights, the eyes sort of light up. Really nice fish. Onto a couple of oddballs now. Another Australian fish, and uh, well, that last one, sorry, wasn't Australian. This one is your freshwater sole. All right, some of you might be familiar with the word flounder. It's not a flounder. This is your freshwater sole. This is complete fresh water. It's not brackish water. And they're really cool fish, but they're really hard to show you in the bag because they are flat. They bury in the sand. They stick their little eyes out and flutter around. But they're quite peaceful. They're really cool. Got one at home ourselves. Cool fish, good size ones too at the moment. They sell out really quick when we get them. I think there's only three in there. And this one here is another really, really cool oddball, oddball is your desert goby. Now, I love these. These guys remind me of bulldogs. They look like to me like the bulldog fish. Really cool little buffy faces on the male. He gets a lovely amount of color on him when he puts on the display. Absolutely characteristic fish, the way they hop around the bottom of the aquarium. And they've got that big wolf head on them, which gives you that reminder of a bulldog. Really cool. So that's your desert gobies. And as you can see, good size at the moment. They're all huddling around the corner. But you can see a little bit of their color on the fins there. That little bit of yellow in the head there happening. Beautiful. Okay, moving along. Now we've got lots and lots and lots of grommies in today. We've got all the dwarf grommies. So we've got your corals, we've got your flame, we've got your regulars. Um, we've got your neon blues and we've got them all in females as well But we show them every week, so we're not showing them this week But we do have a really good batch of red honeys come in So this is about as big as these guys are going to grow and they're showing good color in the bag But once we get them out of the bag, they will be a lot more intense red and this is your honey grommy So it's very peaceful. It stays really small like the dwarf grommy, but it's peaceful All right, another one these guys here we get them in they sell out really quickly and this is your lemon bristle nose or your L144. It's not the long fin, it's your regular. So it does look like an albino bristle nose. However, it does have a little bit more yellow intense coloration, that's therefore the name lemon. And it has blue eyes. It doesn't have albino eyes. So this is your lemon blue eye bristle nose. We could only snag five or six in there. There's not many, so they will sell out. They'll probably be gone by Monday. So keep an eye on the website. They'll go on the website this afternoon. Don't miss out on those. All right, and along to a couple of tetras now. Now this guy here looks like I've got a hole in the bag, so we'll get it into a tank. This is, doesn't show anything in the bag, but this they're really good size, and you can see that they're in the bag that they're a good size. This is your diamond tetra. Now they, some people say they're the most stunning of all tetras is the diamond tetra. It doesn't show that in the bag, and that's because it gets these reflective mirror scars, a little bit of a red eye, really cool tetra. We had a few of these in our display tank at the front of the shop at one stage and all the customers come in, they want to buy the ones out of display because they've matured and they've got the mirror scale. So they don't show it as much when they're little, but these are already a good size. So they're going to be showing good color as soon as you put them in, uh, in your tank. Moving along now, these guys are awesome. If you like pencil fish, but you don't want to pay the $100 price tag for the red coral pencil fish, these are just your standard red pencils. So not red coral, these are your standard red gold pencils. But look at the size of them. 
the really, really big batch of gold red pencil fish come in. Now these guys, you can see already in the bag, the red coloration coming into them. So if you put these in your tank and you feed them good quality food and you give them a good environment, they will get lots of good color red in them, okay? All right, so um, if you do want them, these are cheaper, way cheaper. They're down at like the $12.99 sort of like price mark as opposed to your $100 price mark on your corals. All right, along the lines of another tetra is your black phantom tetra. Really cool fish as well. Just good size. So we're just showing the male and females in there. So uh, if you're into them, there's quite a lot of females in here. The females have a little bit of that little bit of red under their, near their belly on the pictorial fins. Males get a little bit longer finish and put on an awesome display in the tank. Their behavior is really cool on them. Almost behave like little cichlids. They flash and flare up. All right. Uh, head and tail lamps. Just an everyday cichlid. Ah, oh, cichlid, sorry. Talking about cichlids, now we're on the cichlid. Just another everyday tetra. This is your head and tail lamp. Now, call it the head and tail lamp for obvious reasons. See if I can get it on camera there. If you look closely at the top of its eye, it looks like there's a little lamp, a little bit of light shining off the top. And then right down at the tail, there's a little bit of a light reflecting now. It's not a real light, it's reflecting light, uh, but that's where it gets its name, head and tail light. All right, that's that's one box get bot down, guys. We've got a few more boxes to go. Actually, it's two boxes down. All right, now we talked before about guppies. We're about to get into the guppies. So if you're into guppies, like 99% of Australia seems to be into guppies, stay tuned because there's going to be some awesome stuff. And as I said before, we've got over 20 boxes of fish we can't show them all, we'd be here for hours. So let's get into the guppies because I know a lot of our tuners like to see what kind of guppies we're getting in. So let's have a look. All right, so this is a dwarf guppy and it's your panda dwarf guppy. So it's, it's not a true endler, but it's like an endler, okay? So the male, this is about as big as that male's gonna get. And he has little Dumbo uh, ears on him. He gets a light blue body, blackish uh, in the tail. Uh, blackish up on the top fins. It gets that panda coloration but with a bit of blue in it. That's why they call them uh, Dumbo pandas. Uh, however, it's not a true endler. The females do get quite sized, but we don't have any females at the moment. This is just the males. But we often do have girls. So uh, if you want to get some nice males, that they're there now. And when we have girls, just keep an eye on our website. And this is just your everyday uh, yellow male. Okay, we always have male and females of these available. It's just another bag of males coming. So not exciting yet. The exciting stuff still to come. Moving along now, we did get some male and females of these guys in. We get them in all the time. We seem to have misplaced or did not receive the females. We'll have a good look around. Like I said, we've got 20 something boxes in today. They've possibly already been put into the aquarium. I know there's some other stuff I wanted to show you it got released that it just happens. This is your luminous tiger. So keep an eye on the website for male and females. If we track that female down, we'll list them on the website, but that's your male. They call it the luminous tiger because it's got a real illuminating body. It reflects light with that tiger coloration and pattern in the tail. So that's the males. Can't show you the girls because we can't find them, but they'll be here somewhere. All right, we've got some more pink guppies in. So these are actually a pink lyre tail. So uh, they've got a beautiful pink coloration through the body, but they've got that twin lyre tail body. So these guys have been created by breeding the endler across the guppy, and you get the then some line selective breeding to get this pink coloration. So they're another cool fish. They are popular in store when they come in, because once we put them in the tank, uh, of course they're pink. Moving along. All right, so these look like your blue queen guppies. Only got the males of this one. I promise we are getting to guppies that are in pairs coming up very soon. But we just wanted to show you the oddballs first. So this is the blue queen. Very a sort of metallically light blue reflective body with a dark, dark navy blue, almost black tail. You can see it there in the camera now, those tails reflecting. That's the blue queen. We don't get these all the time. But we've got some in today, so they're already on the website. Okay, we'll start moving into, looks like we do have some pairs coming up. All right, so this is your red grass guppy, okay? So it's not the red lace, it's the red grass. It gets a little bit of uh, a rainbow metallic -y, uh different blues and greens in the, in the body compared to uh, the lace guppy, but otherwise very similar, as you can see there on the camera. And we have, of course, the females. All right, so if you are after some guppies for breeding, we're going to get into the pairs now. First off, red grass. 
All right, let's have a look what's next. Okay, this is one we can't get girls very often. So this is your platinum white guppy. Look at this, it's so white, it's snow white, head to the tail all the way through, pure white guppy. Really, really stands out in the aquarium because it's so iridescent platinum white. And we have girls, okay? So if you want to breed them, because normally these the, the supplies of these overseas, they do not release the females. They want to hold their market. They want to protect their market. So they won't give you girls. But we've got girls at the moment. So if you do want to breed or start your own breeding project, this is one we do recommend. We do buy these every week. Another very, very, very popular uh, guppy uh, is your sunset guppy. And you can see why, looking in the bag there. Oh, well, they've got they've got like that sunset coloration on the tail. So this is your sunset guppy. Now we normally can get girls, but they're being very hard to get. However, we did track some down. So we do have some girls there to breed the sunset guppies as well. Funny thing is, the girls are worth more than the boys in this hobby. All right. Another one that, that, that it is we are starting to see girls of these pop up regularly, which is great because these were fifty dollars each two years ago. And this is your neon koi guppy. And that's your males there, so they've got that name Neon Koi or Golden Koi because they get a little bit of a golden yellow through the body. Beautiful white to yellow with a red nose, red tail, hence the name Koi. And if you want to breed them, we've got the girls. So that's the girls there to the Neon Koi. So if you want to breed Koi's, we've got girls back in again. They're nice and juvenile, ready to go. Yes, some of the girls pregnant already. So, um, Right, moving down. This one was a regular one to get, but it has been more challenging to get. And that one there was your neon koi. This is your koi tuxedo. So again, red nose. Now that's the thing. There's the male. We'll show you the male first. So black tuxedo body with a red nose and a red tail. And guess what? There's your girls. Okay, again. These are one that we could get regularly. We can't seem to get regularly anymore and the prices have been going up, up, up for us to buy. Um, so if you do want to go back to, I think it's because the other koi's come out, everyone went to those, then they forget about these. So these guys sort of start to disappear. If you want to breed them, come on, grab, get some. Um, they are online, you can buy them online, male and female. All right, another really cool one. Very popular guppy, this one. Can't get the girls again because they protect it. This is your red tuxedo guppy. Okay, so beautiful black body, red tail, and it's the red cap tuxedo. So it's not a koi, but it gets a red cap with a red tail and black body. And you guessed it, there's the girls. Okay, both male and females ready to go if you want to breed those because this is one we can't get the girls very often. Still got that cool one, but I'm leaving it to last because I know there's some people out there that do collect guppies are going to want them and I want them to keep watching. So let's just put that one aside and see what else we got in here. All right, so it looks like tuxedo uh, dragons. Again, there's your male. So tuxedo, again, that black body, silver head, black body. So that's where it gets its tuxedo name. And there's the top, that, that dragon tail or tiger pattern tail on the back of it. Uh, tiger dragons, they may even be. And guess what? There's the girls. So again, we've got girls coming in at the moment that we can't normally always get. They do pop up, these girls, but not very regular. So if you do want to get into breeding, these are coming from the same supplier. So they are matching male and females. That's one we don't always get. And we do have the pairs of it. So it looks like a blue Dumbo mosaic by the looks of it. It is some reddish coloration on, but you can see there on the camera, there's a lot of blue. So they're, they're blue Dumbo mosaic. All right, so there is some red, just because they're blue, there is reds in amongst them as well. A little bit of red showing on their tail. And there's your females, okay? So the, these guys, they are male and female. They are um, man-made to get these colorations. So that's why you do get some off coloration, a little bit of red and stuff in them. Um, but yeah, you can certainly pick through, find the best from the best and breed them. All right, so these are very popular. And these are your platinum red tail Dumbo guppies. So that's your male there. See the Dumbo, they get that name Dumbo. They've got those 
black ears hanging on the side. They've actually got a little bit of a blue sheen to them. These are absolutely stunning pond fish. When you put them in the pond, those pectorias really get really large and they get really, really big ears on them. They're really cool. You often see people put them in a little white container and take a photo from the barb because that's how they really present really well. So this is your platinum Dumbo red ear, uh, red tail guppy. And there's the girls. Okay, so if you want to breed them, it's not one we can get girls very often at all. We've got both male and female of those as well. Now this one we haven't had females before, and it is a Moscow or Moscow guppy, meaning it's got full coloration from the tip of its nose to the end of its tail in one color. And this is your blue Moscow. See, the, they call them blue, that blue sheen on them. This is we, not your black Moscows. This is your blue Moscow, okay? And we've got the girls, okay? Now we've never had girls for these before. We've never been able to get them. We can get black Moscow girls but we haven't been able to get the blue Moscow girls. So if you do want to get a new line of Moscow's happening, we've got the male and female blue Moscow's there. All right, so this one here, they call it the Red King Cobra uh, Guppy. So it's just a Cobra Guppy. It's got the red tail on it. And um, what are we looking at? That is the males there. They're young juvenile fish, so they don't have the hugest tail on them. A little bit of a snake skin style pattern on them. Red tail and... That, there's the girls, okay? So we've got quite a few varieties of male and female guppies, and we're just showing the ones that arrive right now. We have others here. Um, I know we also got in some golden tiger male and females. I really want to track that as an luminous tiger females down. They'll be here somewhere. Um, we've got heaps of guppies, lots of guppies. We, at any given time, we carry lots and lots of guppies, but we just can't get the girls. So uh, I don't expect, there's only limited supplies, probably 20 of each girl, so they're going to sell out very quickly. Now we're down to the last bag, and like I said, we had over 20 boxes. I can't show you everything. It is worth getting your car, coming down and have a look what's arrived today. But I do want to show this one for those guppy keepers out there, because we've had these once before, and they sold out extremely fast. Now we're talking about the, the red tail uh, platinum Dumbo guppies before. Here they are again. Now I'm not sure if I can show that on camera. If you look carefully, they're ribbons. Okay, so this is your ribbon red tail platinum Dumbo guppy. Now that's a mouthful on its own. Now being a ribbon, it has these huge trailing ribbon fins underneath. It does make breeding a little bit difficult, but not impossible. It's challenging, that is for sure. But you can, if you want a cool collector's fish, you want to give it a go, uh, here you go. That's your male. We don't have females for this one. It is male only. So if you do want to breed these, breed them with the other. Uh, red tail platinum females that we got out there and have a crack with the male here um, Beautiful ribbons. I really would like to show you on camera. There. It's very difficult Jump on Google if you're not sure what a ribbon is type in ribbon tail or ribbon guppy You will find what a ribbon is. All right, if you type in uh, Platinum uh, red tail ribbon guppy You're gonna find our website and you'll find what they look like. They're really cool fish So good on you guys for watching today uh, again with our live unboxing like I said, there's plenty to come in uh, and have a look at. We were expecting 150 fighters to arrive today, and they're probably the best batch of fighters I've seen in three months. However, it looks like they're going to be here on, on Monday. So uh, if we get time, we'll do a sneaky sneaky and do a video on those for you because we're, we're ready to roll with it today. We really wanted to show you the fighters, but they're not here. So uh, tune in for that one next week. If you are looking for betters and you do... Uh, been waiting for that that new collection to arrive to our store Come down or contact the store next week. Make sure they arrive. We hand-picked them They've been hand selected and they're absolutely stunning big good size fighters including giant betters Marbles koi's mustards male and female the best hellboys you've seen all coming next week So thanks for watching guys cram central 11 pike street Cunder park of course, shop online available 24-7 at www.aquariumcentral.com.au. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.